Wu Po Shun is a Taiwanese politician who is a former chairman of the Kuomintang. He has been the Interior Minister, Mayor of Taipei, Secretary General to the President, and Chairman of the KMT. Wu was nominated as Honorary Chairman of the Kuomintang when he was succeeded by Ma Ying Zhou as the Chairman of the Kuomintang. Born to a Hakka family in Zhongli, Taoyuan in 1939, Wu received a bachelor's degree in business administration from National Cheng Kung University in 1962. He entered politics when he was elected into the Taiwan Provincial Council in the Taoyuan County Electoral District from 1968 to 1972. Wu became the magistrate of Taoyuan County from 1973 to 1976. His father Wu Hongling had served in the same position from 1960 to 1964. Wu became the Ministry of the Interior twice in 1984 to 1988 and 1991 to 1994. On October 15, 1987, Wu announced the lifting of prohibition of rock citizens to travel to the mainland area. Citizens were allowed to do so for family visits. Wu was the first vice chairman of the main opposition Kuomintang Party after Kuomintang lost in the 2000 rock presidential election to the Democratic Progressive Party. After Chairman Ma Ying Zhou resigned on February 13, 2007, he became the acting chairman. Wu, however, subsequently resigned his post as acting chairman and member of the Central Standing Committee on March 14, 2007 in order to compete in the KMT chairman election scheduled for April 7, 2007. Ma announced his support for Wu for chairmanship. Wu eventually won the party chairmanship election and became KMT chairman on April 11, 2007. He garnered about 90% of votes cast, defeated KMT legislator Hung Su Chu. Of all eligible voters, about 53% voted. Wu and other Pan Blue officials in Nanjing in 2005. In April 2005, Wu joined Lin Chan and other Pan Blue officials to visit China. Calligraphic inscription by Wu Po Sheng in May 2009, Wu left for China for an eight-day visit. He was accompanied by three KMT vice chairmen, Lin Fong Cheng, Wu Denyi and John Chong. Wang Yi, Director of Taiwan Affairs Office welcomed the delegations upon arrival in Beijing. Prior to departure, Wu said that we would not mention the Republic of China if the Beijing government did not mention the People's Republic of China as well. If Beijing was to refrain from mentioning the One China Principle, then he also would not talk about the 1992 consensus. The delegations visited several cities. In Beijing, they visited the Guangdong Guangxi House, where Sun Yat-sen was elected as chairman of Kuomintang in 1912. In Hangzhou, they visited the Manao Temple, where a museum of Lian Heng is located. In Nanjing, they visited Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum. And in Chongqing, they attended the Taiwan Week celebration organized by Taiwanese businessmen doing business in China. Wu lead a delegation from Taiwan to visit Beijing in March 2012 to meet Hu Jintao, the then General Secretary of the Communist Party. Of China, Wu proposed that cross-strait relations be governed under the framework of one country, two areas. In which from the Republic of China's point of view, ROC consists of Taiwan area and the mainland area. Among the delegates are three of Kuomintang vice chairpersons, which are Lin Fong Cheng, John Cheong and Hung Su Chu. The opening ceremony of the first Taiwanese branch of Bank of China. On June 27, 2012, Wu attended the opening ceremony of the first Taiwanese branch of the Bank of China. The ceremony was held in Taipei and Wu was accompanied by Straits Exchange Foundation Chairman Cheong Pin Kung, Bank of China President Li Li Hu and the bank's Taiwan branch General Manager Tsai Rong Jun. Wu visited Beijing on 12 June 14, 2013 to meet with Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Communist Party for the first time since Xi took office, accompanied by high-ranking KMT officials, such as Chan Chun Po, Hong Su Chu, Wang Min Huawei, and Su Qi. Accompanying Xi Jinping was Wang Huning, Li Zanshu, Yang Jiki and Zhang Jijun from the CPC. During a meeting between Wu and visiting Yunnan Communist Party of China Secretary, Qin Guangrong. To Taiwan in mid-September 2013, Wu said that Taiwan and mainland China should put aside political questions and disagreements aside to facilitate bilateral exchanges. He said that by showing patience, setting aside differences and focusing on economic cooperation and cultural exchanges, more common areas such as lifestyle and values would emerge. During the meeting, Chin encouraged Taiwanese businessmen to invest in Yunnan and make use of the province as the gateway to Southeast Asia and South Asia, creating business opportunities. He added that Yunnan welcomes Taiwanese farmers, township wardens, teachers, students, media and religious and business representatives. Chin's delegation, 
which consisted of more than 200 people, participated in several activities while in Taiwan, such as promoting bilateral exchanges in education, culture, technology, tourism and civil aviation. In October 2013, Wu traveled to Nanjing, Jiangsu to give a speech at the Xianlin campus of Nanjing University. Outside of Taiwanese politics, Wu is a prominent and practicing Buddhist and plays an active role in the Fo Guang Shan Buddhist Order. Before he ascended to the KMT chairmanship, Wu served as the second worldwide president of the Buddha's Light International Association. Thanks for watching.